Hello guys and girls, I hope you're doing well. Today, I thought we would start working on our collision detection by detecting the walls in our maps. Of course, we will collide with a lot of different things in this game, but we gotta start somewhere. So, let's start with the walls. Just a quick reminder, all of the code I cover in my videos can be found on GitHub. Each episode will have its own branch. There's also a Discord server for this channel. Come in and say hello. If you wish to go the extra mile to support my work, you can do that on my Buy My Coffee page or becoming a member here on YouTube. Links can be found in the description below. Alright, why don't we take a look at our current state of the game and see what we're working with. Launch successful, that's good. We got our enemies and here we are. So the idea here is that the player shouldn't be able to walk on top of the wall. Same goes for enemies, but we're gonna start with the player at least. So that's what we're working with. And our first change is gonna happen in the help methods, because here is the methods that we're gonna have that's gonna take care of the logic behind checking for collisions. We're gonna make a method that is very similar to this one, can move here. But instead of calling the map manager, we're gonna call help method. So we can probably go in here and just have this ready to use. But in our help method class, public static, and it needs to return a boolean. Either you can walk here or you can't. So we need a boolean and we're gonna call it can walk here. And we're gonna need a few things. We're gonna need the position that the player is trying to move to and also what type of tile the player is moving to. And we can get those things by asking for a float x and float y. And there's a few ways we can get the sprite ID, what type of sprite it is or tile it is. But I think we're gonna ask for the game map. And then game map. And in the game map we will have access to all the things we may need. So we're gonna start with game map. We might be able to minimize it to something less general, but uh, we're gonna start with that at least. So first we wanna just check, <laughs> are we trying to move outside the size of the game map or are we within it? So in our map manager, we're gonna copy these two lines and paste them in here. This one is very simple. Are we trying to move past zero, like outside the left or above it? We're just gonna return false. We can't move there because it's outside the bounds. These two checks, we're gonna have to change a little bit, or at least where we get them from. In the map manager where we are getting them, we're using current map dot get, get array width or height and multiply it by sprite. But in our game map, there we go, we already have map width, Array width, size. And in map manager, right here, it's array width, time size. Array width, time size. So it's the same thing. So we can just ignore these two methods altogether and just say game map dot get map width and game map dot get map height. And we get the array and size. Yes. So yeah. Those two are now complete. Now we need to check whether or not the tile we are wanna, that we wanna walk on is solid or not. So first we wanna know what the position of that tile is. So int tile x equals, and we're gonna recast this because we're working with floats most of the time. We just wanna recast it at the very last second. And we do that by saying x divided by game constants dot sprite dot size. Now we have the tile in x and then or tile position in x and then tile y equals I don't know, I'm just going to copy this but I'm going to change it to y. So now we have the tile x and tile y now we need a tile id equals game app dot get sprite id that's an old method we had from the first time we draw a map so 
With that, we got an X index and a Y index and it returns the ID for that position. All we do then is to tile X, tile Y. And now we have the tile ID. And with this tile ID, we can check with some list, some information, whether or not this tile ID is solid or not. If it is solid, we cannot walk there. If it's not solid, we can. So we want to return. Then we need a boolean solid is equal to some method that checks this tile ID with the game maps uh, sprite atlas. So let's just create a method down here as well. Public. Mm, yeah, let's make it public. We can always make it private later. Public static boolean is tile walkable. And what do we need? We need a int tile ID. And we do need, and then of course we need tiles, tiles type. And that is this tiles enum that we have. So if we are in the inside, we want to check different IDs. And if we are outside, we want to check for other IDs. So it's good to separate them because they are going to be different. Some tiles in inside is not going to be solid on the outside, even if there's the same ID. So we need to keep track of which floor set or which tiles we are using. And with that, we can add some simple checks here. But before we do any of that, we want to check the actual atlas to see are there any solid tiles in this or that atlas. Here is our tiles for the outside. And quick glance at this, there is no tile that I can say those are solid. So this entire atlas, the outside, so far at least, is going to be walkable. No matter what tile you're on, you can walk on it. That's fine. What about our inside wall then? Well, here we have a couple walls and of course the floors. And all the floors should be walkable, but all the walls should not. And that's all of these tiles. So we could make a list that goes zero, one, two, 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 two. actually, let's bring up the reference here. So we could make a list that zero is not solid, one is not solid, two is not solid, da, 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 all the way over here. But that's just gonna take forever and it's not gonna improve anything. All of these tiles down here are solid, except for this one. So we don't have to care about this, the tiles here in between that's or, that are transparent. We're gonna make them solid because we're not gonna we're not gonna select this one over one of these transparent. If you want transparent, we can just go with ten up here and we got transparent done. The rest we're just gonna ignore. So all of these tiles down here from 374 and up are solid, except. 394 because that's a blackish background. So we're going to make an exception for that, but otherwise, all tiles above 374 is solid. So let's go in here and make a simple if. Uh, first, we're going to check what tile types we are in. So if tiles type equals tiles inside if we are inside what we can do is a if tile id is equal to 394 or tile id is equal no not equal is less than 374 then return false no true because they are walkable. We're asking, is the tile walkable? Then we return true if they are. If it's not, then we can simply add, oh, we should have added before. Let's just add it like that. I know there can probably be some simplifications here, but return false. And if it's not that, return true, because we are in the outside. 
and we can improve this if <laughs> a lot we can remove those two brackets i think uh, return for return for yeah and we can simplify if this one is true or this one is true return true otherwise return false so what we can do is simplify if else but we're going to do it like this return and we can remove those two brackets as well so it's the same as before but now we're going to return is it true or is this true if it's true well then it's walkable if it's not true then it's false it's not walkable we are above 374 or we are 374 or above and if it's not this one then we can walk on it because all of those tiles on the outside map is walkable so instead of asking for solid we can just say walkable is equal to is tile walkable tile id game map dot get floor type return walkable but that's not what we want to do because we can simplify this as well return is tile walkable can walk here yeah that looks correct checking if it's outside the bounds left or top checking if it's outside the bounds right or bottom then we get the tile position we get the tile id using the tile id passing it in here we check if it's the inside or outside map if it's the outside we can walk there if it's inside we check whether or not it's below 374 or the tile id is 394 and we return whatever that comes up yeah that looks good let's change the code in playing what we're going to do here is in our playing for our update player move all of this code can stay the same it's just that we want to move the camera if we can move there and uh, currently we're using the map manager so we're just going to comment this one out and we're going to ask if help methods dot can no can walk here so we're going to need uh, x and y of the player or where we're trying to walk actually and that is all of this um you know what we're gonna add float x position to check is equal to let's just get all of this think that is correct and then of course one for y so y pause to check otherwise this is, otherwise it's gonna get too long and this is just annoying to read then we get the y which is this one uh, equal maybe all of that perfect and then x position to check y position to check and of course the game map which is in map manager dot get current game map if that is true or we can walk there then we're gonna take these two post uncomment and format it's the same inside the if statement and it's the same position as before we're just changing what method we're calling so we can call check more later because this one only checks now for uh, tiles but later on we can add objects we can add i don't know something else maybe but this is the start and you gotta start somewhere so let's see if this works and we're also only checking for the player enemies comes later so we're starting up perfect it didn't crash that's a good sign walk in here boink all right boink boink yeah that looks good and i can still move out i can come in as we can see it's working pretty good i get collision with it yes even down yeah perfect 
But when I entered here, I saw that I do enter the wall if I'm slightly moving upwards. If I move to the left, I'm not going to be able to because it's checking the tile next to me and it's not going to work. But the tile I'm actually checking if I'm moving slightly up is not the tile that has the wall. So we're going to leave it at this for now. We're going to improve it later, but we want to get the start of the basics. Then we can make more accurate collision detection. And that would be when we check each corner of the player. Well, not all the corners. If we move to the left, we don't need to check the right one. If we move up, we don't check the bottom, etc. But we're going to check more corners for the player if the player intercepts or hits a wall when it starts to walk there. So that's something we're going to do in another episode. But we wanted to start simple. And this was a simple start. All right. That was the start of our collision work. More videos on this is to come. So don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Until the next episode, take care now and have a wonderful day. Bye.